Maintaining the health and efficiency of your fleet's after-treatment system is crucial for ensuring optimal performance, minimizing downtime, and reducing overall operational cost. At the heart of these systems are various sensors, each playing a critical role in monitoring and regulating the after-treatment processes. From NOx sensors that control emissions to EGT sensors that manage exhaust temperatures and back pressure sensors that gauge exhaust flow, each component must function flawlessly to keep your fleet on the road. Understanding how these sensors work and the importance of preventative maintenance can make all the difference in your fleet's reliability and efficiency. Now let's dive into the specifics of each sensor and how they contribute to the overall performance of your after-treatment system. When it comes to diesel after-treatment systems, NOx or nitrogen oxide sensors are absolutely essential. They're the cornerstone of the control and diagnostic algorithms that ensure your system runs efficiently. Installed both upstream and downstream of the SCR, that's the Selective Catalytic Reduction System, NOx sensors measure the conversion efficiency of NOx to nitrogen. By regulating real-time diesel exhaust fluid injection rates, these sensors ensure that your engine meets demands while maintaining optimal emissions performance. The life expectancy of these sensors typically aligns with diesel particulate filter or DPF service intervals, ranging from 100,000 to 150,000 miles. It's important to note that the engine's side-out NOx sensor tends to fail sooner than the system's side-out sensor, so it's crucial to consider this when refining your preventative maintenance programs. Aging exhaust gas temperature, or EGT, sensors can cause a host of issues, including overfueling and unnecessary regenerations. Failing sensors may intermittently relay incorrect information to the engine control unit, which could result in inactive faults that don't trigger a diagnostic trouble code, but are still stored in the system. Replacing EGT sensors as a preventative measure during DPF service can prevent costly issues down the road rather than waiting for a dashboard warning light. The Differential Pressure Sensor, or DPS, is another critical component, monitoring the performance of the DPF by measuring exhaust gas pressure upstream and downstream. Over time, hoses can clog, sensors can become contaminated or suffer damage from heat and vibration, leading to failure. Accurate sensor operation can be confirmed with scan tool data, electrical circuit testing, and pressure testing. Exhaust back pressure, or EBP, sensors play a key role in gauging the pressure of exhaust gases at the turbo inlet and post-DPF. If these sensors fail or become carbon clogged, your engine may increase fueling and exhaust pressure, resulting in potential overheating and excessive wear on after-treatment components. Soot sensors estimate the amount of soot in the DPF and detect excessive particulate matter emissions downstream in case of filter failure. These sensors, working in tandem with differential pressure sensors, help define an accurate DPF regeneration strategy. Exhaust after-treatment systems are complex, relying on many components to function properly. Implementing a preventative maintenance replacement schedule is vital to avoiding unplanned repairs, maximizing uptime, and protecting your engine and exhaust system. Walker Products understands the importance of high-quality, reliable sensors in your after-treatment systems. Their genuine OE produced sensors, including NOx sensors, EGT sensors, back pressure sensors, and more, are designed to deliver the highest quality data collection capabilities. By having Walker product sensors on hand, you can proactively replace critical components, reducing your fleet's cost per mile, and ensuring maximum uptime. Trust Walker products to keep your fleet running efficiently and effectively. Thanks for watching.